Hey guys, it's Tanya, blooming in place. I'm giving an update on the crocus and tulips that I planted last fall. If you watched that video, I planted them in November. That's the yellow alyssum. I planted that not too long ago, or last week. But we've got these plants are the bulbs that I planted last year. Now, I planted 30 of these and I think six or seven came up and four have bloomed. The crocus already came up and bloomed. The tulips are mixed in. The daffodils, some did survive. Um, I planted a hundred and probably 30. The squirrels dig them out and move them. So it looks like I will have a few tulips in bloom, but the crocus, I've got the cottage garden I gave up in my front yard. Oh, that blue tub is soaking my hydrangeas. I have to move them. They used to be where the yellow alyssum is. But everything except the peonies and that wild rose bush right there. Um, everything is yellow now. Yellow or purple. But the daffodils, three in total bloomed. One's gone. I don't know. It, it died off already. But these have yet to bloom. These are the peonies, or peonies, potatoes, potatoes. I got those from my mother-in-law. They are pink. I got them in 89, 88, 89. I'd have to consult my garden book to know the exact year, but I have moved them all over the yard without bloom, without bloom. And when I move them here next to a huge ant, home, ant farm. They've bloomed ever since. And um, I found an ant farm in the back and I'm going to move it over by there. And in its place something yellow but I don't know what yet. This is a yellow lilac. Um, it, uh, it was just a little root plant by Groot, by Groot and it did okay we had two snowfalls since i put it in the ground and it did its leaves are a little bit curled up here but overall it's hanging on it's doing well and it should reach up so that when i'm sitting on my porch right there i'm going to smell the lilacs it'll be a few years but it will happen. I'm going to wait until after the peonies bloom before I move them. I do have a spot and I'm preparing it, but I might I want to enjoy the blooms this year. My wild rose bush. It's still struggling. It really it barely survived the winter vortex. I have two plants. Each one had one cane and one had three that survived. And it just, I put in some organic rose food all around the area this year in hopes of boosting its growth. And then it rained really hard and that's the challenge. Did it rain so hard that it washed it away, or did it just rain enough to water it in? I had watered it in a little bit, knowing the rain was coming, trying to just stabilize it. I have yellow rose bush, yellow rose bush. Uh, my, my birdhouse, the squirrels, it had a copper 
roof vent, a uh, right, copper roof line right over the top, right there. Copper. The squirrels tore it off. The squirrels. They scrapped an empty birdhouse. Hmm. Live in the city. I need a flower pot to go there, but until the garden center's open, either a flower pot or a bird bath, it will have to remain just a waiting pedestal. I might have some paint in the basement I can put on that. So, front yard crocus tulip update. The crocus came up. They bloomed. I may have. I kept the dirt really super loose. I'm wondering if maybe they went too deep. If the squirrels, I know my neighbors called me a couple of times saying the squirrels are buried to their elbows in your flower beds. So I figured they were they were moving and rearranging. They tend to do that. But overall, I'm getting the yellow blooms. And over the years, these plants will spread and multiply. I've always had to thin them out versus... Uh, replace.